guest. Our, our next guest just barely got a chance to come on last night. We ran out of town. He's been working with the Fernwood Community College, Department of Biochemistry. Would you welcome, please, Dick, Dr. Richard Osgood. Doctor? Yes. <laughs> Of course, it's baby Irene. She was sorry. All right. Good. Uh, doctor, that was quite a bombshell you laid on us last night at the end of the show. Could you uh, tell us a little bit about what you were talking about? Yes, well, we've been doing about two years of research involving the carcinogenic properties of uh, various synthetic fabrics, double knits, and polyesters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh, we have a lot of laymen here tonight, and, uh, <laughs> for sure. And uh, what is that exactly in layman's terms? Well, very simply stated, it means that uh, leisure suits cause cancer. <laughs> exactly. How does that happen? Well, you see, normal body heat causes these fibers to separate, and they're all synthetic oil-based materials, and they begin to emit certain gases, which can be very dangerous to humans if they breathe around the collar and lapel area. Mm -hmm. In other words, the pants would be fine. No, there's no danger involving the pants, as, as, long as, you, as long as you don't inhale near someone's pants. <laughs> I can't see that happening, actually, but... Uh... Well, no, there, there is a case, actually, that, that's, uh, that, that's not funny, because small children tend to cling to the legs of their parents. This is true. This is true, and, and in a case where you have a father who is prone to have sweaty legs... Sure. ...a, a child who, who was clinging there and breathing in the thigh area mm -hmm. could be in danger. Well, that's a good thing to think It's about. all right to hold on to the leg as long as you don't inhale into the trousers. Right, as long as it, if the child will hold his breath. Uh -huh. or, or breathe away from Remember the Remember that tonight when you go home, yeah. huh? That's good. Doctor, how did you get all this phenomenal information? We did exhaustive research involving thousands of, of laboratory rats. We, we dressed them in these tiny leisure suits. <laughs> Jerry, you want to touch that? Yes, sir. That's very we, good uh, tailoring. We had, a, we had a, another sort of control group, if you will, that wear only, they, they were only these tiny sport jackets. The sport jackets. <laughs> these are some of the actual rats. Oh, no. <laughs> oh there's a little bit of they're trying, they're trying to get out of the leisure suits. I, I can't blame them. <laughs> because they know. Yes. I yeah. think. We, we, we think they sense. <laughs> well, maybe the telegraphs are so now, this one is wearing, as you can see, a sport jacket. It's a Glen Plaid. A regular, yes, it's, it's, a, it's a natural fiber. It breathes with the body. And uh, you see, there was another sort of sociological difference that we noticed. The sport jacket rats tended to mingle better with the rats of the opposite sex. They, they were more intelligent, and, and they made it more successfully, excuse me, they made it more successfully than the leisure suit rats. I'll be darned. Well, Doctor, what can we do about this problem? I haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> well, these uh, nope. suit rats then not only uh, were socially unsuccessful, but also died, which is kind no, of a double no, handicap there. No, they did not die. The leisure suit rats did not die. They, uh, uh, they're still alive. They do have cancer, though. We're doing some research with laetrile leisure suits. Ah. <laughs> now that it's legal. Now that it's legal. And uh, we, th we think we may have some, some results with that. Well, I think it'd be wonderful if we could have some sort of legislation or something to help. Yes, well, we've, right. we've recommended legislation that, uh, any, that it becomes a misdemeanor for anyone to wear a leisure suit more than once a week and a <laughs> felony to own more than two of them. <laughs> Doctor, I want to thank you for coming by here and wish you and your colleagues all the, all the luck in the world continue to be such wonderful watchdogs for we people. Yes, firmly. thank you, Thanks Mark. from all of us. Okay. Dr. Okay. Richard Oscar. We'll be right back after this important. <laughs>